Hello everybody and welcome back to another Wednesday one shot. I really enjoy utilizing these Wednesday videos midweek to talk about one specific subject that sometimes can be a little bit challenging to talk about. I think there's just a lot of things that are easy to stay safe with and in my vlogs I tend to keep it pretty safe just because I don't have a lot of time to go into these deeper topics but Wednesdays are the best days for that because we could just sit here and we can go over just the thing whatever the thing is and today's thing is probably one of the hardest ones for me to talk about I really want to remain sensitive to the complications that could come along with trying to have a family and so I just want to give a little warning here to anybody who uh, that might be a tough thing to talk about that this might not be the video for you I'm gonna speak very freely and from my heart and from my truth and so it's not gonna be something that everyone's going to maybe agree with I also want to make sure that we all give each other a little room to be different it's okay if somebody doesn't want to have kids and it's okay if somebody does so there's really no need to shame someone or come at them if they feel different about it. I did a blog post about it a few years back and I got a lot of like oh my gosh it's so nice to hear this you know so a lot of other gals who have felt the same way but just didn't talk about it too much because honestly you get a little bit nervous talking about it in general just because everybody's like why <laughs> why don't you want to have a family and it's um it's just a choice you know and it's okay so I just wanted to say it's okay if you don't want to have kids and I'm going to explain to you a little bit as to my thoughts as to why I don't and just how that's played out into my life now as an adult. All right, where to begin? I want to say that I completely understand why people want to have a family. I do understand that it means that when you're older you have your family around you and I do understand also that there's something beautiful to having a family and to kids that you've made with someone you love and that you get to raise and see grow and it's a very beautiful thing. I understand. I don't know what it feels like but I know what people mean by that and how that would be really nice and so I get that. It is something that does make me a little sad when I think about how my decision to not have kids is going to mean that I'm not going to get to feel that. But just because I don't get to feel that feeling, it's not enough. It's not enough for me to say, okay, let's just like have a baby. <laughs> like it's just not enough. I'm someone who really, because of my anxiety and because of my dealings with agoraphobia, that is something I've noticed I've had my whole life. I don't know that I really even ever felt that I was ever prepared to bring someone into this world when I had such huge issues that I'm trying to tackle and understand. Meanwhile, I was, you know, drinking to keep myself feeling normal and that's just not an environment that I ever felt I would ever want to have a family <laughs> like that just never was a thing and even when I was a child the dolls and things I decided to play with were all like ponies pound puppies I never grabbed for the baby dolls I had cabbage patch kids but I had them as friends I never made them my baby I never had the baby thing I just never as a child even babysitting never was like gosh I can't wait till I can grow up like these parents that go out on a date night and have a babysitter and have a family I never that never crossed my mind friends of mine talked about it they would say I can't wait for a family I can't wait to be a grandmother I can't wait to be this that's all of that whenever I heard it just completely overwhelmed me I felt no I want to get out of this town I want to go see things I want to go to Europe which I still haven't done I want to go travel I do a little bit I want to move to different towns I've done that a lot <laughs> living anywhere and going anywhere and doing anything and just like whatever your heart desires just living your life was always what I wanted to do the thought of settling down and having family was never a dream of mine. I thought maybe it would kick in. <laughs> I thought, okay, well, all my friends want that, so maybe one day I will. Maybe I'll be normal and do the normal thing. Mm -hmm. 
honestly, whenever I go through neighborhoods where there's suburbs and I'm like, say I'm in a car and I'm in the passenger seat and we're driving through a city on the way to another destination, whenever I look out the window and I see these suburbs with these plastic playgrounds in people's yards, you could smell spaghetti cooking and you have like this family lifestyle happening, I get sick. <laughs> My bodily response to that is pure panic. I don't know why, girl, I'm in therapy to figure this stuff out, but I cannot tell you why. I cannot tell you why that makes me feel completely <laughs> uncomfortable and I have to look away because I'm like, Ugh. or I'm a glutton for punishment sometimes. I'll look at it and just be like, could you imagine living there? And then I'm just looking in horror, like it's like some sort of scary movie. It just, to me, that's my response. And I'm so sorry if that has offended anybody. Please, nobody get offended by anything I'm saying in this video because this is just me speaking my truth. And I have to be able to speak my truth and not have to worry about hurting anybody's feelings right now because I, can't, I gotta get out. I gotta get it out of my system and not talk about it anymore. Because I will say, when I first got married and I started showing, you know, videos and talking about it on YouTube and like all this stuff, the first thing that people were saying was, can't wait to see you have your kids and a family and they're gonna be so cute. And I'm thinking, they would be cute. <laughs> and honestly, we would be great parents just because of the way we are with our dogs. Like you can just tell that they would be very loved and very spoiled. Maybe that's not great parenting, but we would give them the world and I would just make sure that that person or our, our dogs or our kids, that they would feel like they're just so perfect and that there's nothing that they can do wrong in our eyes and that's just how I would feel about a child is just wanting to nurture them and make them feel loved and that is unfortunate that I don't have anybody to give that to. I give it all to these Shih Tzus. <laughs> Not that that's a wasted love by any means. For a while I had a one-year-old that I nannied for for about a year and that was kind of, I was 20, so it was me kind of sticking my toe into the uh, waters of do I ever want <laughs> to do this. I just know that I don't really jive well with crying babies and babies diapers and any parent dealing with a, a baby that's having that is going to get frustrated. The difference is is that I, I was ready to quit that job and I was like no babies ever. I'm never doing this. I'm never ever doing this. Sure it'll probably be different if it's your own because there's a love and a bond that you will have with that kid that would is an unbroken thing and that you have this natural instinct kicks in but I never had it. I never had maternal instincts kick in and all of my friends did. They all did. They all talked about wanting a family and I just, I just never did. That's why I'm just like, it's okay. Why are we trying to force this? Yeah, I'm gonna end up getting older and maybe there won't be a family there to like, watch me shit myself eventually <laughs> like no one's gonna be there when i've got my diaper on and i'm senile you know i'll go to a fo i'll go to a home i'll sit in a senior home probably with my husband and we've talked about retiring on a golf course we have a nephew maybe he'll have a really sweet wife they'll have kids maybe they'll check on their aunt and uncle every now and then <laughs> to make sure we're doing okay aunts and uncles that have no kids too. So it's actually quite common in my family on both sides. I have an aunt and uncle that I've known on my dad's side my entire life. They've never ever had kids and I never really asked them either. I never said why didn't you? And that's all, honestly it's also something that could be private. I don't feel like that's a question that should just be thrown around. Like why aren't you having kids? It's almost, it's like it's really none of your business and if someone's struggling could you imagine how painful that question would be? I just don't ask. I don't even ask. And same on my mom's side. I have aunts that just have decided not to, or I'm not sure. See, I don't ask. I don't know if it's because they couldn't or they didn't want to. Not really sure. I know that I've never had the maternal instinct and I've also kind of just thought that I couldn't. Maybe just because I had so many other family members that never 
did that I just thought it was a normal thing to just not and that maybe also if they couldn't maybe one of my aunts or uncles tried and they couldn't that a genetic thing was like happening where I couldn't procreate just like my aunts and uncles couldn't I don't know never asked I chose partners naturally that never wanted to have kids either one of our first dates my husband and I went to a restaurant and there was kids crying and it, that's how it came up we were both like oh don't love that sound you know we're just trying to enjoy a dinner we're having some margaritas we're adults so we're on a date and there's just like this kid just losing it and I felt you know you feel bad for the family because they of course are having to deal with that and probably like oh god we can't go anywhere we can't do anything without this baby crying all the time that has to be frustrating I wasn't like we should leave we're getting mad I just was like oh so, you know it's an it's a sound that not everybody is going to want to listen to it did bring up the conversation about whether or not we wanted to ever have kids and he said oh I definitely don't so if that's something you want this isn't going <laughs> to work out and I was like Oh good, because I definitely don't. We both feel that way, so it's a very common feeling in my reality. But when we watch TV or certain shows, like we've really been into Love is Blind lately. You know, they always talk about that on the show, like how many kids you want? Oh, I want two, a boy and a girl, or I want a big family. And him and I always just look at each other like, why don't we get that? Like, why are we not, why aren't we like that? We just don't get that. We don't want, to do that. <laughs> you make this choice, you know what's right for you in your, in your gut and you just, you know, stay firm in your decision and it feels right to you. But everyone else seems to know or, or have a better idea of what's good for you and just really want to push that on you and it's a little annoying. You just don't want to feel pressured by that, you know? I felt it. I felt the pressure, especially when we first got married. There was a lot of talk about like your family when you have a family and it's just not for us. It's just not for us. As much as I understand and I can't say it enough how having a child you care for and get to see grow up and is like, you know, a twinkle in your eye and is a beautiful thing totally understand so i i get that like there's a huge part of the tree branch that's just gonna stop when it comes to my husband and i i do think that we would be good parents um i think adoption just knowing that that's always on the table is just a kind of comfort to me at least to know that that's something that could maybe down the road be an option but I really think that ship has even sailed. Taking care of someone would be a way of me giving back but like I just don't my I know my husband wouldn't want to do that and, and it's just a, it's a gut instinct and there's no really other way to explain it but it's just an instinct that tells me that this isn't what we want. <sighs> <laughs> I'm stressed out. Can you tell? It's really hard to talk about because I don't, I just, friends of mine and family of mine are all parents. And so it's, you almost feel like you don't have anybody to talk about it with unless you make friends with people who don't want kids too. And then you just can kind of be like, God, I'm so glad I don't have to deal with that. You know, you can't go do things just, you just can't just like up and go somewhere and do something. It, there's more involved. You gotta pull kids out of class. You gotta pay for daycare. You gotta pay for this. You got college coming up. You gotta get them a car. They're expensive. Just seems like a lot, but yeah. So if you're here because you also didn't want to have kids, hi. I hope this uh, just kind of closes that door now and I don't, I don't have to really bring it up or talk about it. And um, if anybody's like curious, you know, you see me with my husband all the time and how we are with our dogs and the little trips that we take and the things that we do and that there's no children with us and that's because we've we've made it that way and we've chosen it to be this way and this is what we um would like to do battery's dying that's a sign anyway i hope you guys enjoy this video thank you so much for watching i hope it was helpful to at least even just a few and please do subscribe i'll see you on the next video bye bye